Today we're going to talk about how criminals use other individuals and organizations to attack, to harm the people they don't like. In this particular case, the person who is the target is me. So I have a good familiarity with this topic. I have researched it now for a number of years. The, the organization is a coffee shop, is a big franchise coffee shop in the Okanagan and probably around the world. And the people who are being used, who are being manipulated, are the young, mostly young, workers at the coffee shop. Most of them are between 18 and early 20s. Um, maybe one or two are, are a bit older. And what they do is they approach a young individual, a young girl, who's pretty gullible, naive, and uneducated, maybe even a little stupid. You have to remember, criminals didn't go to school. These, these types of criminals, they didn't go to school. So they are not educated. They have limited education. They maybe barely got out of grade 10. So they're not going to be able to manipulate or brainwash an educated person. So they got to find somebody who is malleable, who is a bit stupid, and who will do their bidding. And so they, they contacted a, these few individuals, these young, these young people, and Let's get out of the light here. And they gave him a story. Now, now, how do you convince a young, gullible person to become a criminal, to work for a criminal? Well, first of all, they don't say they're criminals. They don't say they work for a criminal organization. But because I am involved, and because the criminal organization is after me, I know that they are connected to the criminal organization. These young people, they don't know. They should know, but they're not going to know because the criminals will not tell them, right? Bad people will not tell you they're bad. So these bad people will need, will need to get them on their side. How do you get people on your side is you give them a story. That's where you get the rumor. Do, do you know what he did? Do you know what I heard? This guy is bad. Now, all of this stuff is made up. There's no evidence. There's no proof. Um, if, if someone is really bad, let's just say, if someone is really bad, then you go to the authorities, you go to the police or the RCMP, and you have all your evidence, all your proof, and you go there and you say, this guy is bad. This guy is dangerous. If you say this guy is bad and you're not willing to go to law enforcement but you want to attack the guy, then maybe you're making things up. So they give him a bunch of these, this information. You know what he did. You know what he is. This is what he does. And they get these young girls, mostly girls. In this particular case, it's mostly girls. I would say 80, 90%. Girls are very gullible when they're young and they like to gossip. They like gossip. He did what? Really? Right? Really? No. And then they get scared. Now, once, once these young people at the coffee shop get scared, they feel they have to do something, right? They feel empowered. So now the bad people have them, right? 
Now they are empowered. They feel like they have a purpose. I have a purpose, I have to do something. There's a bad guy there. The people are in danger. Then something else takes over. They've been manipulated. What I say, brainwash. Now, now this has been going on for months. And this has happened at different coffee venues, which I would frequent. Now, particularly this coffee franchise, I have been frequenting for a long time and I've been watching this progress. This, it's a kind of an information war, right? It's information warfare at the ground level. This is what it is. This is information warfare at the ground level. And you have a, a larger group of players, a gang of people who are targeting me and they're using not only these young people who are naive and gullible, but they're also using the organization. Now the coffee shop becomes a platform for the criminals, right? And, and, they, are, and they don't know, they are not aware of it, right? They're not aware that it's being, they're not aware that it's being used Right? Because nobody wants to, nobody wants to think on this level that I'm thinking at. <laughs> no, no one wants to think at this level that there would be bad players using people to attack me. Now, again, th this stuff is all made up. It's whatever, whatever it is, whatever they have to say, it's all generated. And then people, once you generate the fear and the paranoia, people start to see things. They start to see things. They start to imagine things, right? It's like, you remember when you're in a car on the highway and you say, let's look for the red Volkswagen. And then you start to look and then you find there's a red Volkswagen, there's a red Volkswagen, there's a red Volkswagen. And you say, I didn't know there were so many red Volkswagens. You start to see things. And this is what they do. They're distorting these young people. Now, so the, the, the coffee shop doesn't know it's being used by this bad group that has links to criminals. So these young people are basically aiding and abetting criminal, criminals. They're becoming criminals. And what will happen over time, this is how it starts, <clears throat> that these young people, now that they're in contact, now that they trust bad people, and they are, they are attacking good people, right? Now that they trust bad people, and then they influence their friends, right? They gossip. Hey, that's what they do. So they, the bad people, they manipulate a few dumb individuals, and they go out and they gossip. And they spread gossip and rumors. And all of a sudden, there's a story. Hey. Hey, John said the same thing. Mary said the same thing. Bailey said the same thing. It's got to be true. They don't know the source. The source of this is all false information. I'm telling you from my own perspective, it's all false information. If there was, and the funny part is, if there was, if there was any truth to it, you can go to the authorities and it would be a locked done deal, right? But they don't. Criminals don't like the authorities. Now, <laughs> I get the light here. Okay, final point. So this is going, and I don't like it because I don't like it when young people get manipulated and brainwashed by bad people. And they're using me as an excuse. And they're using them to hurt me or to attack me or to slander me or to smear me, to ruin my reputation, to, to destroy my life. Right. And I, I don't like that. Because the bad people are saying, we are good people and he's bad. And the young people, they don't know the difference. They can't tell the difference. They don't know. He got a good story. This seems good. He's a friend of my friend. 
what happens this is how it starts and later on these guys these bad players will invite these young people to a party and they'll say hey you want some drugs yeah free on the house and then if you want more I'll give you a deal then you get them on the drugs and then you say well you can't pay for your drugs listen if you sleep with my friend don't worry about it now you got them into prostitution this is how it starts the way they manipulate people this is how they start they, they use false information they, they make themselves to be the good guy we are doing something good that guy is bad and they created the, the whole thing they created it. then they become the hero then they gain their trust then they get them into drugs into prostitution they make them their boyfriend their girlfriend hey you want to go out you want to come over yeah remember I protected you from that guy I told you all that stuff you know it was true eh? it was true man did you hear what that guy did that's how it starts so if you hear this stuff and you see this stuff going on think about where it's coming from the source the source is these bad players and the information is false question the information question the information if they say something really bad if they say something that's you know that's bad you say where you have the evidence let's go to the authorities let's call the police call the call the police and you're going to see them you're going to see the change in their behavior whoa well, hey i'm just i'm just trying to help you out man I'm just, you'll see their behavior change